Hey everybody, welcome back. These are some spoiled kids getting humbled because y'all love the first one so much. 1.2 million of you loved it so much. Great, great. He humbled her real fast. Did him slip it? By accident. Uh, I make too much money to let that shit happen. What? How much money do you, that, what, what, how I'm, much money do you make? A year. 30,000 a year. Okay. How much? 30,000 a year. How much money do you make at the end of the year? I make 14000 a month. I'm not impressed. I didn't ask you if you're impressed, but I told you how much I make a month. Good for you. How do you okay. make that in a month? Uh, I sell solar. Solar? Solar, yeah. So you make fourteen okay, grand a month? Right. Yes. Ooh. She probably took one look at him and was just like, mm, he's poor. Isn't 30K a year really hard to survive on? Like, there's no way that you could survive on 30K a year in Toronto. I'm just speaking from experience. <laughs> As someone who used to make that much, very hard to survive in a city like Toronto. Maybe other places is fine. Ooh, that's awkward. Listen, you can be proud of how much money you make, but don't look down on other people for how much money they make. No hate to her, I'm just trying to figure out how 30K a year is too much money. Me as well, because that's poverty. Like 30K a year is, I'm pretty sure by Toronto standards, below the poverty line. That's like, you're making minimum wage or less. 30K a year is not nearly too much money. <laughs> he makes 160,000 a year. Like, but he makes six figures, bro. Why did she get all mad for? I don't know. Like, why are we upset? Spoiled kids getting humbled by father. Oh, my favorite. I'm seeing a lot of these videos on TikTok of kids that just cannot stand to see their sibling get like gifts or a birthday cake. That's when you as a parent, you really do have to step in. You gotta be humbling these little menaces. Sorry, it's not your day. Gotta learn to be happy for other people. Okay. Especially your siblings. Damn. My tubes just tied themselves watching this. <laughs> this is birth control in a video. I don't need to take my birth control today because I watched this video. So when you accidentally stay. book a party bus to the airport after three days in Coachella and the driver says you can't turn the party lights off. <laughs> That's your punishment. Y'all look wrecked, bro. <laughs> Hey man, at least you don't have to take a real bus to the airport. Could be worse. You could be sitting next to a smelly hobo that pukes on you. But instead you're just sitting next to your boyfriend, this guy, who will probably puke on you as well. Yes, do not want to learn a box. This isn't the end. Hello, hello, hello. No. What's wrong? You're screaming, what are you doing? Sorry. Yeah, you should be sorry, be quiet. Be quiet? No, yeah. We're doing stuff here. What, what are you doing? You're going to be quiet. That's what you're going okay. to do. Okay. 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 Oh, Sorry, I'll stop you yelling. Yell. Listen, if you're allowed to film in public, just don't bother other people. Dude was flabbergasted that he wasn't allowed to scream and yell in public. Flabbergasted? What? Excuse me? Quirks. How dare you? Do you not know I am an influencer with 2,000 followers? I'm making content. Girl, for money, I'll go home and get a drag pack right now. I'll bust you. No, 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 no. Listen, you can't go home and do anything. I can go right. home and get my zero six. I will start. I will bust that <laughs> too. I will no, put ten fucking grand on that. What? Ten fucking grand. On so that. show it to me in your account right now. I'll, I'll show it to you. you. I don't. being flipped <laughs> for cloud reasons because 10 grand ain't been done this year i got 10 grand all right okay so let's do 10 grand are we still got 10 grand i got 12 grand i show me 10 grand show me 10 grand in your account Chris coming in hot baby Where's the money? Show me the money! Oh, no, you can't. It's all right. It's How much do you want to run for? How much do you want to run for on it? Oh, dang, eh? Lots of talk. Lots of talk. If we're going to make a bet, let's make sure that we actually, like, have the money. <laughs> yeah.
We're gonna need to do that, don't we? Imagine what would have happened if Buddy with a faster car was gonna make him pay for it. Like he got off easy, bro. You could be racing the mafia. Careful, careful out there. Let's not get into dick swinging contests when we don't have a dick to swing. Bro, unlock the phone just to open the weather app, then lock it. <laughs> What are you looking for? There's nothing to find. If you were to look at me and rate me on a scale of one to 10, what would you rate me? I like a six. What are these men? They are savages. They must have been from the ice age. For the record, I wouldn't go up to people and like ask them to rate you, to be honest. I feel like they do it on purpose, you know? Like it's like, mm, you ain't much. Like there's no way that that guy would not go home with that girl. Like unless he was in a relationship, there's no way. They do that to make you like feel like less hot and then you sleep with them, so whatever. Can we also like start thinking about rating people not just based solely on looks, but also like the whole package kind of thing? I don't know what it is about hearing that you're like a six out of 10 that really like, Cuts you deep, you know? Like, I'm like a solid seven, but if someone told me I was a six, I would cry. I would cry, and guess what? I bet if you look hard enough, you'll find people in the comments that be like, mm, you're like a four at best. You're like a four. You need to be humbled, girl. Thank you, random internet person. Thank you for humbling me. You make me a better person every day. I'm so sick of this shit. This is what, this is what I'm talking about. You and this freaking phone all the time. Give me it. What are you doing? Give me it now. Stop. No, no, that's it. I, I had enough. I had enough. What are you doing? Oh. I had enough. I pulled Oh my God. Just what are you phone. doing? Give me one reason why I shouldn't post in the phone. I have to text people back. Why? Because Whoa, I have that, to. No, that's it, no. Oh my, oh my God. God. That, stop filming. I'm sick of it. How'd you do that? Cool. Stop Did we have to like throw it in the pool? Cause that's like also just like money that's gone now. Can we just have like taken it away from her for a bit? I feel bad. I feel bad for her. Put it in rice, babe. I will never get over this photo. So obviously I'm back from Costa Rica now, but for our last like blowout, we all went to the beach, we were drinking all day. And my two friends, Charlotte and Alexis, were trying to take photos by the tree and they were struggling with the poses. So I got up with full confidence and was like, girls, this is how you pose for the photos. And I stood by the tree of Alexis and I was demonstrating that you just need to like keep moving and like laugh and be like, <laughs> like so like candid and stuff. I said to Charlotte, just keep tapping that button. It's going to be really natural. So Alexis airdrops me all the pictures. I forget about it until the next day I'm hung over I look at me fine only to find this <laughs> I've got absolutely no words no babe let me do it let me do it let me show you how it's done meanwhile <laughs> body still looks snatched though it does trees just giving you a tease you know nice little teasing teasing the hairs into place Carla yeah mommy not this filter again <laughs> I can't go that high and you're welcome. Thank God. Thank God I can't. Just be like, babe, I'm just trying to protect you. I'm just trying to protect you from those creeps online. This way they won't save the video and keep it for later. Well, they might, but not for the reasons that they would otherwise. You know what I mean? This is for protection. Your own protection. Who knows? Maybe there is someone out there who might like that face. <laughs> Perfect transition, babe! Perfect! You go, girl! In all fairness, TikTok transitions are really hard. Like, I have so much respect for people who do them. She just wanted a good transition! The more you watch, the funnier it gets. I hope she didn't get too hurt. No, I offered to do a redo, but she thought this was the real her. She's a good spirited kid. Yes, babe! Love to see it! Might as well. You might as well show the world what a klutz you are. I do it on the daily. Because I love you, mm -hmm. and I really, really love you. Yeah? I have a serious surprise for you. What is it? Behind the door. <laughs> Wait, every time I come to you and I tell you clean your room, mm -hmm. do your homework, mm -hmm. take out the trash, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You always tell me, don't tell me what to do. Your surprise is... <laughs> Freedom! Yeah! What? Now, what do you mean by freedom? Freedom means get the hell out of my house and go have your freedom. Don't come back! Ah!
If you don't like it, leave. That was a good joke, Dad. Dad, father. Great joke, great joke. Let's see how he fares on his own. If you're not paying rent, you're doing chores, okay? The way he was so excited, like he thought he was getting rewarded for his bad behavior. Like he was so excited, he could not contain himself. Ha ha. Everyone has been talking about this viral video of the goalkeeper who taught this kid a life lesson. And what he did was way more valuable than just letting in an easy goal. Because it teaches you that nothing comes easy in life. Sometimes you will fail in the biggest moments. And in all fairness, the shot was right at him. So while some people are saying this is the worst thing to ever happen on a football field, there's nothing that compares to this moment. Wearing number one for the Los Angeles traffic today is nine-year-old Tommy Douglas. Tommy has lived most of his life in the hospital after being born with a potato for a heart and will undergo a heart transplant surgery next weekend. He's about as big of a traffic fan as they come, so in partnership with the Grant wish Foundation, both teams have agreed to come together and have Tommy run the first play of the game. And he got the handoff, and there he goes. Made a little cutback move, and it looks like he's going to go all the way. <laughs> Look at him go. Wow. This is really one of those heartwarming moments in sports where you just... Oh! Wait, what? Oh my god! I'm sorry. Wait a second. We just tackled a kid that spent his life in a hospital? And we're calling that a lesson? Okay. I wouldn't go that far. I think the kid has learned a lot of lessons. Let him have one win. Like, come on. You just put him back in the hospital, bro. Like, what? I'm upset. That's upsetting. I hope the kid is okay. The way that, like, the guy that tackled him also, like, celebrated. There are lessons in life where kids have to learn that they don't get everything handed to them. But I wouldn't say that this is a spoiled kid that needs a lesson. This is a kid that, like, kind of needed a win. So... By all means, give your kids stuff, you know? Like, give your kids things, spoil them a little bit, you know? Learn that they can come to you if they really, really want something. Teach them how to work for it. There's no way that a 10-year-old that was born with a potato for a heart <laughs> needs to be humbled. Spoil your kids, humble them. But only if they deserve it, you know? Subscribe!